Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ariana Brazier and I go by Ari and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And today I am going to be reading us a story and Krista is going to move with you through the story. So today's book is Good Morning Yoga, a pose by pose wake up story by Miriam Gates, illustrated by Sarah Jane Hender. And what's gonna happen is I'm going to read this story once and I'm gonna give you time to move and breathe through each page with Krista. And then we'll read through it a second time and we're gonna follow the different yoga poses so that you can learn what each pose looks like, okay? So now I'm gonna invite everyone up off of the floor or out of your seat to a standing position because we are going to say good morning with yoga. My first breath is long and deep. I twist and turn to shake off sleep. Yes, yeah, shake it all out. Don't forget your head. Today, I'm a fiery volcano reaching high. A brave ski jumper ready to fly. Maybe while you're skiing, you're even moving side to side like you're navigating these giant mountains. Ooh, I see Krista, focused. A lightning bolt flashing across the sky. Today, I'm also a mountain, quiet and still. A gentle stream flowing downhill. Don't forget the flowing part, so feel free to move as your body moves and breathes with the stream. A playful dog, stretching with skill. Today, I'm an explorer, calm and awake. What does your explorer pose look like? Crossing bridges on the path I take. The end. So I hope you got your body all warmed up because we're gonna go back through it another time. And this time I'm gonna talk you through some of the poses as Krista does them with you, okay? So again, we're still with the same story. Good morning yoga, a pose by pose wake up story. So now hopefully your body and your brains are a little bit more awake and you're a little bit loose because we're gonna get started with our first breath being long and deep. This is also called the sun breath. So you reach your arms out to the sides and you lift them up to the sky before relaxing them back down. So Krista has reached her arms out to the side. She lifted them up to the sky 
and then she relaxed them back down. So don't forget to breathe. Next, we twist and turn and shake off sleep. These are also called tummy twists. So you twist your whole body from side to side and you swing your arms back and forth, back and forth, taking deep breaths with each twist and turn. Today, I'm a fiery volcano reaching high. This is called volcano pose. So you lift up on the tiptoes and reach your fingers high. Maybe even share something that makes you explode with fiery hot lava. For me, it's Krista. Krista makes me burst with joy. Next, you're a brave ski jumper ready to fly. This pose is also called ski jumper. You bend your knees and you sweep your arms back. Make sure you're taking deep breaths. And if you can, you're sending breath into your back, all the way down into your hips. Don't hurt yourself, just do what you feel most comfortable. Because next, you're a lightning bolt flashing across the sky. You see Krista's body and the body like the person in this picture, they're shaped like a zigzag, a lightning bolt. <laughs> While this pose is also called lightning bolt with your knees bent and you glide your hands up, it also looks very much like chair pose, which is a very popular pose in yoga. And I guess you can guess what chair pose entails. It is though <laughs> you're sitting in an empty seat. Today, I'm also a mountain, quiet and still. So mountain pose, often your hands are at your side, but in this version of the story, you press your feet down into the ground and you stretch your spine all the way up so it's long. And you have the option of holding your palms out as you roll your shoulders together like Chris is doing or pressing your palms together like the person in our picture. Now you're a gentle stream flowing downhill. This is one of my favorite yoga poses and stretches. And it's called the forward bend. So you roll your back forward, you bend your knees and you roll all the way down to the ground, feeling each little bone in your back and sending each little bone its own thank you. Now you're a playful dog. Stretching with skill. So you've probably seen this pose if you've seen anyone doing yoga anywhere. This is called downward dog. So you press your palms and feet into the earth and raise your hips up to the sky, just like Krista is doing or something similar. Remember, you have to take care of your body. So if this pose is a little too challenging or it doesn't feel right in your body, you do not have to do it. We just want to help you become acquainted with some basic yoga poses today. Next, you're an explorer, calm and awake. This explorer is in a pose called balancing table. On this person's hands and knees, they bring their left hand forward and they lift their right leg back 
and they balance before switching sides. What you see Krista doing is taking her time as she transitions from one pose to the next. So as she moves between poses, she's making sure that her body is being cared for and that she doesn't move too fast so she might hurt herself. So Krista is in the cobra pose and is gonna remain in cobra until she's ready to move into the explorer or balancing table pose. So please take your time. Do what makes you feel best and comfortable. If you want to do the balancing table pose, as is described, you hold one arm out forward and the opposite leg back, making sure that you're taking deep breaths. And when you're ready, because we have to make sure we stay balanced, you're going to swap arms and feet. Good job, Krista. Good job, everybody. We're on our last one and it's crossing bridges. So today you are crossing bridges on the path you take. Maybe as you're getting into your bridge pose, you're thinking about where you wanna go with your life. What do you dream of? What bridges do you have to cross to get there? In the bridge pose, you roll onto your back and you press your feet into the earth. And using your forearms for support, you lift your hips high. If that doesn't feel right or comfortable to you, you can keep them pressed into the ground. You're still a bridge. And so you'll take a few deep breaths there. before you release your body back to the ground. Take in your time. And when you're ready, you're gonna pat yourself on the back or give yourself a high five because you have completed the good morning yoga sequence provided to you by Miriam Gates, Dr. Ari Brazier and Krista Kaur. I hope you enjoyed.